the visitor to Antiques Roadshow presented drafts of Elgar's Enigma variations to Justin Croft for evaluation. The documents contain revisions of Elgar's work which was published in 1899 and even signed by the man himself. The contributor revealed on the show that it belonged to her late husband who had been a music scholar. Justin was clearly taken aback at the historical item as he said, Nimrod, it's emblematic of remembrance. After going through the fascinating antique, Justin then delivered the huge valuation. It's a tremendously important piece of music, he announced. Elgar stirs the blood, stirs the heart and I'm going to value this with my heart. Thousand pounds. The visitor was clearly struck as she clasped her hand to her mouth in shock, admitted. I thought maybe Elgar's autograph might be worth something. Those watching at home couldn't believe the astronomical valuation and took to Twitter to comment. One exclaimed, W.O.W. at that Elgar manuscript on Antiques Roadshow just now. Remember being knocked sideways seeing Handel's manuscript of the Messiah at the British Museum. Makes you feel so close to their genius. Whoa. Edward Elgar's Enigma Variations Manuscript worth £80. Oh 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 to £100,000. At a roadshow antiques roadshow, another added, as a musician I'd pay the 80-100k just to look at those Elgar manuscripts if I had it, weeping with joy just to have seen it on telly. They totally made my day. Antiques roadshow at a roadshow Elgar, a third admitted, a fourth said, lovely ending to the antiques roadshow a unique early manuscript of Elgar's Enigma variations. I thought the expert was so eloquent. Meanwhile, a recent episode saw host Fiona Bruce startled when one visitor to the roadshow brought along a toilet seat which once had a royal owner. Fiona grabbed the seat and asked, So, you've brought along a toilet seat? Is it clean? The owner then replied, It is. It's Queen Victoria's toilet seat. Fiona gasped, The royal posterior graced the seat? The owner then revealed, She used it at one of her cottages on the estate. Valuation expert Mark Allen laughed, this is her alternative throne then is it? I would be prepared to spend £500 on the toilet seat. Fiona then asked if the toilet seat is still used, to which the owner replied, yes we do, we still use it. Antiques Roadshow continues Sunday at 8pm on 1.